50 organizations in Lane County are getting a slice of the $1.4 million pie thanks to Three Rivers Foundation. And for some of these groups, this funding is critical to how they operate. KEZI 9 News reporter Ariel Yakbazi spoke to just three of those 50 agencies about how they'll use the funding and why it's so important. And so the first thing it's going to be able to do is open up bigger projects. Groups like the Boys and Girls Clubs of Emerald Valley getting an extra boost. They asked for a $5,000 grant only to receive $20,000 more. And for those like Grace Center Duro, who work hand in hand with kids, this is a blessing. With these resources at this level, we can allow every kid an open door into getting their hands dirty and allowing their creativity and curiosity to lead the way. It doesn't stop there. Our preschool is not funded by anything except for contributions and donations. Pearl Buck and Eugene getting $75,000, 50 going to building repairs and 25 going to much needed preschool funding. The contributions from Three Rivers Foundation and other community members really goes to support the preschool because this is a no fee environment for the children and their families. And these aren't the only groups that will get more funding than they originally asked for. Well, it was a big surprise. We applied for a $5,000 grant from Three Rivers Foundation and we got a phone call that there might have been some extra money. Casa Lane County is getting $25,000 in grant money this year. And according to those who work here, this is critical when it comes to caring for foster kids across the county. They offered us this extra money for this project or if we needed it for something else, which again, that just doesn't happen. Morgan says this is especially important for their organization because even though they were able to serve roughly 460 kids last year, she says over 1,000 children will spend one night in foster care. And because we're an unfunded mandate, we need the generosity of our community and foundations. We rely on them because we are mandated to serve with a CASA for every child in foster care, and but we're not funded that way. Morgan voices the opinion of all three groups I spoke to today. We're so grateful. Reporting in Lane County, Ariel Yakabazi, KEZI 9 News.